It was back to Piketon, Ohio for the ABC Recruits March training following their first TDY to Worcester in February for the Ohio Aquaculture Association's annual meeting and workshops. After learning from the experts, they returned to base camp eager for more hands-on learning and business training. ABC Business Planning Special Agent Chris Molly quickly rallied the troops back to the classroom and led the platoon through their first spontaneous physical training. Following a morning of business management studies, it was on to the hatchery for some hands-on work. Here's Commanding Officer Dr. Laura Tube briefing the troops. Today's assignment, they're building a small research cage. They're using irrigation piping for the float system too. They're making two irrigation hoops right here with hose clamps and a connector so that this will float the entire cage. And then they're putting the cage material in and securing it with zip ties all the way down the seam, then putting the bottom of the cage in. And they'll be able to use this uh, to hold fish in tank systems or pond systems, be able to use it to sort fish. Their first task was to gather the necessary supplies, including irrigation piping, hose clamps and connectors, and eight inch zip ties, a go-to supply for any hatchery. The troops then separated into teams and the cage building competition began. After assembling the tubes for the float system, they grabbed Vexar plastic mesh and began attaching the tubes with the zip ties. After securing the tubes, they zip tied the sides of the mesh together about every 8 inches or so to keep fish from escaping. Once the bottom of the cage was complete, hatchery specialist Paul O'Brien inspected their completed projects and cleared them for hatchery use. Then it was on to the durability test. Looks like this one passes for sure. Tune in next month when the recruits experience the process of hatching perch ribbons during their April training. Until then, this is company clerk Julie Moose, over and out.